and we'll start off nice and slow. So average pitching wedge about 165. <laughs> Everyone able to see that still? Yep. 177 is official, all right. So if we need to hit it further, what do we do? Swing harder. Swing a little harder. It's not rocket science. <laughs> That's going to hit the ball retriever, right? And uh, a little short of them. All right. About 180? 75. 175. Then we'll work into a 5 iron. That flag is about 265 yards, so we'll try to aim at that. Took for a little dog leg left. <laughs> You guys all act like you don't hit bad shots. I did see everyone tee off today. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Sure is getting dark in a hurry. All right, so that's a five iron. Ten high. Get a yardage on that. It hit that tree. 241. 241. <laughs> So we got 240 yards covered in two golf clubs. Then we go straight to a three wood. For any of you that are familiar with three woods, they do go pretty far nowadays. Air traffic control. Everyone see that? Over the bridge. How far? How far was it? 295. 295. All right. Now we'll step on one. Get a little angry with it. Oh. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Just gotta wait for it to land. 336. Well, that's 336 with a three one. Then I'll just hit one driver and we'll wait for the real drivers at the end of the show. But this is kind of a little taste for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. That's a little different gas than you guys seen on the golf course. I'm saving myself for this. So. Gone. What'd you get? Still, still, still in the air? I was you can hit a that 368, all right. So the most common question I always get is never, you know, what's your longest drive? It's always, why don't you play on tour, you hit it 400 yards. Well, putting has always been a nemesis of mine. Uh, and for you that weren't here last year, how many of you guys three putted today? Maybe once. <laughs> I know a lot of guys, did because I know how fast these greens are. But when you get on that par four, this is the only time it's acceptable to four putt right here. When you're teeing off. <laughs> and it'll usually go probably about 280, 290 yards. You get that? 294 with that putter. That's gotta be great. There we go. 300 on the number? Are you just feeding me these numbers or what? All right, I figured that. For all you that have played in a one club tournament, how many of you guys play one club tournament before? <laughs> what, what club do you pick? Seven iron. Everyone always picks a seven iron because you can kind of belly it, you can blade it, you can putt with it. Why not the putter? You can obviously putt with it, you can tee off with it. If you need to hit an iron shot off the deck, <laughs> hit that little five iron bleeder down there. If you need to hit a little bit lower, kind of that tiger stinger you used to hit. Usually they clap after a putter goes off the deck. Yeah. And then when you get close to the green and you got to hit that little wedge shot, you got to have all the shots. That thing will spin, believe me. Check. There we go. Side spin. All right. And the next thing we roll into is uh, I played some tournament golf over the years, and obviously the emphasis is not on distance, it's on accuracy. It's all about hitting it and finding it. So what you got to do is get yourself a little shorter driver. And again, this is kind of the accuracy club, so when you need to hit it straight, this is where you got to go to. 
The show goes about 300. Pick that up. 305. If you need to bark on a little bit, let a little shaft out. Oh, oh, God. Oh, you guys want to God. find this right now. <laughs> Three easy payments. Back bunker. A little off the heel. And then when we get we get a little bit older, the only way you can create speed is by creating lag. Is lag is when that club trails behind you. So when you get older, things don't move quite as fast, so it's harder to create that angle. What we do is we go into a little softer shaft. Okay. It comes in blue. And it comes with a helmet. Wear the helmet for the first week. A little soft draw. All right, we need to hit a cut down there. We can hit a cut. There we go. So a little softer shaft, get that timing right. This usually goes about 300. 305, there we go. The next one's my favorite. For all you amateurs, how many of you guys get nervous on that first tee? No one, everyone's a professional. Right in the water. Uh, right, right in the water, okay? I got your problem fixed here. What we do is we get this three pack of balls, all right? Packaging always comes designed for a purpose. What we do is we grab that three pack right there. We'll get this back so you people on the deck can see. What we do is we line that thing up. Now we got a one in three chance, so the first tee jitters have just gone away. <laughs> All right, here we go. Get that top ball. Oh, my. oh that, was, that had a lot of top spin on it. <laughs> the greatest thing is there's always one that kicks out. All right, everyone's allowed a mulligan. Let me hit that. <laughs> Oh, God. Good job. Go. Oh, so those are on days where you maybe had a couple too many cocktails before you played or the day before. We get a yards on that. 307, okay. And then when you guys really had too much, what we'll do is grab that 12 pack, okay? If you can't hit a 12 pack, my God. I've got one more trick to help you hit that 12 pack. So we aim it a little bit left, it's going to come out with a cut, so we'll play for that cut. Oh, oh. oh my God. Oh. That was water right there. There's always a stage sitting here if you miss that one, so no sweat. And if you can't do that and you're really nervous, what we do is we grab this new Galloway driver they made. And this is kind of the secret right here. <laughs> this is a thousand cc driver, the new driver they call it the you suck version. Keep <laughs> that baby nice and high. If you can't hit this, grab a tennis racket because you can't play golf. So. That's the next step. And then the most common shot I always see. How many of you guys slice here? A couple, three of you guys slice. Yeah. I know you slice. How do you fix a slice? Drink. Aim left. Aim further left. Because if you're a slicer, you're already aiming left. So you, I always play these pro ams. I play and I play in about 50 pro ams a year, and I always have one slicer in every group. Be aiming at that white flag down there, and you see him step up. This got slightly open. The first one normally looks like this. <laughs> slightly outside. So now you see him start cranking the dial on the golf course. They'll be going here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just slightly outside. It usually has a lot to do with alignment. So they never fix it on the on the golf course. You see them on the driving range. You always go in the far right corner where no one can see them. And they go, oh, okay, I got it. It's all about alignment. <laughs> Cut that back into that flag a little bit. <laughs> 
All right, there we got an uphill putt. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you pick the slice right there. And that, that doesn't work. What we do is get our name on our bag. You're now professional, right? Tight draws and tight cuts. No longer a slice or a hook, so that helps. And then the next one we got is when I struggle, I struggle with ball striking. Ball striking is all about hitting in the middle of the face. So when I'm not hitting it good, I'm hitting it off the heel and the toe. So what I like to do is grab that left hand to go off club. Flip her upside down. <laughs> and make it rain. <laughs> Everyone see that ball? How far would that go? 299.3. 299, okay. And if we hit one solid, what we're trying to do. Oh! <laughs> tight little draw. What plane going to be on? <laughs> Could be about three. Where did that go? 312. <laughs> 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 yeah. We're awake. All right. The next one we got is always the one I see most common. You know, the way I've seen you guys today where I'm sitting on a hole and hitting drives for everyone, I always get that one guy's buddy that comes up to me and says, oh, old Jimmy, he's the longest guy at our club. And I say, oh, that's great. You know, I'd like to meet him. And he comes to my hole where I'm sitting, and the first thing I see, I see him sitting in the golf cart, and he's giving her one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Old Jimmy steps up to that first tee. <laughs> Everyone gets a mulligan. So the next one you see, he goes, oh, I know, I found it, I got it. He goes, it's, it's not this, it's this. <laughs> so when you perfect the top shot, you can top it and catch it. If you get an instance on the golf course where maybe you need to fade it around this sign right here, so we're going to oh, get a little shit. top fade. <laughs> See that ball fade? <laughs> you need to hit a top draw. Top draw is always hard. Top draw, top draw. See that? Uh. <laughs> you have all the shots out there when you're playing golf. It's a tough sport. So that's the top draw. And then the next one we work into is for all you that played, was there any long par threes out there today? A couple long par threes? Oh, yeah. So visualize this, when you get on a par three that's about 240 yards and you got a long iron or hybrid in your hands, you need to make it land soft. Hey, Eddie, look just like what you, you gotta do is get that high tee. Oh. Oh. Oh you gotta get warmed up Good first God. though. <laughs> so hit a couple nice warm up shots. Oh. There we go. You wanna work ball flight a little bit, we can just lower that ball flight a little bit. Like that. Oh. Keep it close to the ground. But when you get on that par three, on the green. where you need to really stop it, put a lot of backspin on it. How many of you guys backspin the ball here? <laughs> oh, you're cool. <laughs> the easiest way to backspin, what we do is get a high key and a driver. High key. <laughs> <laughs> oh All right, you're going to want to look straight ahead in about 12 seconds. <laughs> Landing about now. There it is. <laughs> that is the easiest way to get back. All right, you guys want to say that one more time? <laughs> Sometimes it goes backwards, so be careful. Oh well, he's a little bit further. Probably right where that uh -oh. car's going to drive by. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So again, that's kind of the far three shot. All right, we need to launch some drivers before it gets too dark here. Is that thing still working? Yeah, we're good. All right. We're going to hit six more drives. This is a 45-inch golf club. This is my competition driver that I'll be trying to win my third world championship with in October. All right. Here's your difference right here. About three and a half inches, three inches. This is four and a half degrees, so about the same degree as your putter. 
I just got it. It's the five. It's the five S. Just calling me, Doc. <laughs> it's an emergency. Thirty minutes of your time, Doc. <laughs> 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 How do you guys know about the stack and tilt method? <laughs> For all you guys that watch infomercials late at night, that stack and tilt method. What they try to teach you. It's not a great way to play, but what you do is you get your weight on your left side. <laughs> Club comes up steep and you drop it on the back of that ball, somewhat like this. Oh. So when you get it perfected, it's a 5S. It's more durable. <laughs> Read your uh, fingerprints. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if we can't get this thing to work. Last one I got. Last one worked? 242. 242. Well, that's worn. Tell me you got that one. <laughs> 209 ball speed, 140 compass speed. Okay. Waiting for it to land. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was on the street. It must have a tree. Yeah, wrong. Yeah. You need to use that 5S to judge your distance. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if that goes 350, I'm going in retirement. <laughs> Get it? Oh, yeah. 390. There we go. 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 Try it. Woo! <laughs> 390 is like the, the old like 240. No one even cares unless it goes 450 now. <laughs> Who was not here last year? Come on up here, bro. Come help me out. You want to hold it for me? Just come hold it. Yeah, you can hold it like that. On this side, though. Yeah, otherwise I hit you in my club. Don't stand there. <laughs> you get the ball. Just hold it tight because I'm going to actually get it. Okay. 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 <laughs> I, I almost hit the knot. But we got a clean break, and when you get good at it, so, Nick, you got insurance? Sometimes we go through the same hole. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Okay. You'll notice that How you doing? <laughs> that golf ball will not travel through that same hole, so I'm glad I didn't kill anyone today. All right, it's dark out. Thank you guys for being here today. Yeah, dude. Yeah. 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 Oh, the oh, oh, yeah. I'm going to ruin my costume, but. It's a young Gallagher right here. All right, here we go. The young Gallagher. You're stuck behind a watermelon when you're playing. Oh, among the things I'm standing behind you. Yeah, you're protected. <laughs> All right, are you wearing dirty. nice coats? I'm very sorry. <laughs> 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 
I love Rob. I love Rob. Like the goal. Wow. All right, that's all she wrote. Thank you guys. Nice work, Jamie.